A common problem in the study of fractals involves finding the length of an irregular line, such as the length of the coastline of Britain. This was first done by Benoit Mandelbrot in his study of irregular shapes. We will use this to calculate what we call the Hausdorff dimension. The pertinent thing to realize is that the length we, did, we find varies depending on the minimum length we use to measure. To start with, I'm going to measure out 4 inches. This can be done with a ruler, although it is easier, more easily done with a compass. We will start here at Land's End and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Close enough. You, you, you may not get exact values, that is to be expected. So with a, with a measurement length of 4 inches, we can measure out 8 lengths around the coastline of Britain. If we use smaller lengths, we will get larger numbers. Because you begin, begin to take, in, take into account each little harbor, each little lock, each little no, river. Okay, to do this then, we take, now we'll, we'll use this information to calculate the uh, Hausdorff dimension. So I'm going to start with, I've already started with a full inch. I'm going down to a half inch and demonstrate on part of this side. And then we'll do the actual calculation. So starting here, going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Notice I'm taking into account every little script, every little movement of land that, that I can at this length. Now, were I to go all the way around, I would come up with 110 um, ruler lengths to measure the coastline. Now, the Hausdorff dimension is calculated using the formula d equals log n over log m, where d is a generalization of our idea of dimension. In this, in this case, it's called the Hausdorff dimension. There are several different kinds of fractal dimensions. That, that are possible. Different formulas. So, in, in, our, in, in this case, m refers to the magnification. In this case, we went from 4 inches um, to, to a half inch. So, we will put 4 over 1 half log. A little bit darker. 4 over 1 half. Also, but the length we calculated went from a mere 8 to 110. The this gives us one point two six. Notice we don't need to use log base ten or log base or the natural log. We use any log base that we want. The result will be the same. The which is one point two six is actually a very good value, which is 
the accepted value. So this is, it, it is possible for anyone to make a very good calculation of this if they will simply take the effort. Now you may, you may be asking yourselves, why did I use a smaller ruler when it actually first magnification? Well, I only have one map. And you probably only will too. It's much easier to make your ruler smaller than it is to come up with a, with a different map. Although that would be a very good way to do it also. The result will be the same. 